Hi guys, welcome to SAS Space Interview Preparation Part 2. My name is Rajesh Yadav and I'm a SAS certified professional and I have more than 8 years of experience in SAS. And in today's video, I am going to cover the questions and answers based on program data vector. So let's start. First question is what are the types of SAS statements? Answer is global statements and data steps and proc steps. So global statements, these statements can be used anywhere in SAS program and these statements stay in effect until changed. For example, statements used with options and title statements. And second is data steps and proc steps. And they stay effective within data step and proc steps only. Next question is, what is the purpose of proc steps? And answer is proc steps generally analyze data and produce output. They take SAS data set as input or other data formats. So in simple language proc statements are used to generate output or analyze data. For example proc means proc reports, proc tabulate etc. Next question is a SAS data step is processed in how many phases? and in which phase PDB and descriptor portion of data set are created and answer is there are two questions so there are two answers the first is SAS data step is processed in compilation phase and in execution phase and answer for the second question is PDB and descriptor portion is created in compilation phase next question what is the use of underscore and underscore variable and answer is the underscore and underscore automatic variable represents how many times the data step has iterated. So in simple language if SAS is reading the first observation then the value of underscore and underscore variable is 1 and if it's reading fifth observation then the value of underscore and underscore is 5. Next question what is the use of underscore error underscore variable and answer is underscore error underscore variable holds value if error present in program how to print pdv in sas log and answer is use the put log statement to print the pdv in the sas log example put log underscore all underscore next question Retain statement is compile time statement or execution time statement. And the answer is compile time. Next question is what statement is used to avoid truncate variable values? An answer is length statement. So with the help of length statement you, you can define or rather correct is redefine the length of a particular variable. Next question is at the beginning of execution phase what are the values of underscore error underscore and underscore and underscore variables and answer is 0 for error and 1 for n. Next question write a program to read employee data sets fifth observation only and you do not use first observation and obvious data set options so with the help of underscore and underscore variable you need to accomplish this task and answer is data read fifth observation so we are creating read fifth observation obvious data set or reading the set reading the employee data set and we are conditioning when the value of underscore and underscore equal 5 then the, that observation should be written to read fifth obvious data set. Alright guys, this question is for you to solve. Let me clear you the question. The question is write a program to create a data set odd obvious that contains odd number of observation from employee data set. For example, observation number is like 1, 3, 5 and 7 observation etc. So you all know that how 
do we identify odd and even numbers so when we need to find out even number or odd number we divide that number by 2 and if remainder is 0 then it's an even number otherwise it is odd number so guys solve this question and mention in the comments that you are able to solve it ok guys that's it for now stay connected and do subscribe the channel till then bye and tata